Bueno. bueno, y después de hablar con Michael Sprague, el vicepresidente de Mercadeo y Ventas de Kia, vamos a hablar con Kit Griffin, eh, o el colega de About.com en inglés, con quien compartimos la experiencia manejando el Kia K900 2015 por allá por las calles y carreteras de Newport Beach en California. So now uh, we're at the favorite part of my show where I shared experiences with my colleagues and now with Kit Griffin from About.com in English. I do it in Spanish, so okay. how are you, Kit? Good, how are you, sir? Great. So we just spent about, uh, what, five, six hours in the new Kia K900, uh, 2015 Kia K900, about uh, five, six hours, 200 miles. Pretty nice car, I think. Uh, Kia is uh, getting into a new, completely new segment. So what's uh, your first impression of the car? You're right. It is a nice car. It's really smooth riding. It's got appropriate power for its size and just loaded with technology and everything. I, I think it's really going to be a a value luxury car if there is such a thing. Yeah, but there's some people who argue about that, uh, like the value part of it, because I mean it's a Kia for sixty six thousand four hundred dollars. So for some people, the name and the price don't match. Exactly, and that's going to be the big hurdle for Kia to overcome is how do you get people behind the wheel of a $66,000 Kia? It's the same problem Volkswagen had with the Phaeton and, and didn't do well at all in this market. Yeah. No, nobody wanted a, a VW for $66,000. Yeah. Right, it was the, the big logo in the front, yeah, right? The, yeah, if they the, have yeah. changed it to a VW A8, which is what it was, yeah, exactly. it could have been a completely different story. But I think, uh, I don't know, maybe Kia is doing something different, like trying to not to be too pretentious with this car. I mean, they know what who they are and they know who they're aiming at. And so maybe, I mean, I, mean, I, I think it's like a good value also. Like this car, I think is the most you can spend, 66,400. Yep. And as you said, it's like completely loaded with absolutely everything that you can think of. Yeah, all the latest technology. And you're right. I think what Kia is doing, maybe they did learn the, the fate and lesson, is that it's, it doesn't scream Kia to you from the outside. So, and as they said in the presentation we were at this morning, they're going to get, they're going to need to get people behind the wheel of this car to convince them to buy it. Yeah, and uh, well, that's what we just did. As I said, five, six hours, 200 miles, very smooth ride, very quiet, very powerful. We are the model with a V8 engine that has uh, 420 horsepower, five liter. And uh, more than enough, uh, we got, uh, what was the average of uh, mileage? It was like about 21. Yep, we were averaging about 21.7 miles per gallon according to the onboard trip computer. So for this kind of car, which is pretty big, especially in the back, I mean, there's a lot of space back there. Uh, I think it's it's a good thing. And like again, like I've been posting pictures on Instagram, and some people I comment that I think it's a good value, and some people are arguing about it. <laughs> so one of the other things, uh, Keith, and you on your site on about.com, um, you talk more about used cars, right? Yes. So the residual value of the cars is a big, big issue. And obviously, this is new. I mean, they just starting to sell it. They're going to sure. start sell soon. But what's what's your impression in that in that uh, in that uh, issue? Like three years from then, what do you think if this car is going to be value at? It, it, that's a good question. I would say right now with the MSRP of sixty six thousand, my best guess three years from now, it, it'll probably retain about forty five percent of its value. I think. So you're going to be looking maybe at about a $35,000 car used three years from now. But a lot of that's going to depend on how this car is sold in the next three years. If this ends up being a livery vehicle or there's a lot of fleet sales for it, I think it's going to have difficulty retaining that residual value. Yeah, and it's uh, it's curious because uh, on the way uh, here to the airport at Newport Beach, we're staying at the Pelican Hill Resort here in uh, Newport Beach, uh, One of the drivers who used to drive a Lincoln Town Car thought that it might be a good replacement for that. So, and, and that might be good for him, but maybe not good yeah. for Kia. <laughs> exactly. It was interesting, though, uh, it, even though Kia doesn't want us to mention the Hyundai Equus in the same breath. the When Hyundai first came out with the Equus, though, it was willing to let its that car become a livery vehicle because they thought it would help sell to executives. But they don't seem to be touting that so much anymore. They're not really pushing it to be a livery vehicle as much and I don't think Kia's going to go down that road either because you're just not going to want to drive spend this kind of money and then be stopped at a traffic light and have a livery vehicle next year which is a yeah, Kia K900 yeah 
But in any case, I, I enjoyed the drive today. Uh, thank you for sharing your, your uh, impressions with us. Gracias, and, uh, amigo. Where, uh, obviously, I mean, I already said it, but where can you find out about more what you do? Sure. Uh, about.com, the used cars website at about.com. I also do a lot of writing for the Boston Globe at boston.com. Would be two of the primary places you can find Excellent. it. Excellent. Kit Griffin and also in Facebook, Instagram and all that. So thank you very much again, Kit. And uh, look forward for our next uh, test drive. Uh, who knows? Who knows where? Maybe That's right. San Francisco without yeah. it. <laughs> or, or Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. Thank you, Kit. Thanks, Harry. Esa es toda la información referente al Kia K900 2015, no solamente desde el punto de vista de Michael Sprague, el vicepresidente de ventas y mercadeo de Kia en Estados Unidos. También las impresiones de Kit Griffin, eh, con quien compartimos eh, la prueba de manejo allá en California. Y como siempre les recomiendo que vayan a nuestra página de YouTube, Javier Mota en YouTube. También lo pueden seguir por Facebook o por Twitter para que vean eh, sobre todo el video eh, más extenso ya con imágenes y todo de la prueba de manejo del Kia K900 2015. Ya regresamos, esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota y vamos a la prueba de manejo con la Jaguar Driving Experience aquí en Miami.